In the words of sculptor Arto Chakmachian, Armenia has survived thanks to the creative genius of her people. Through art we take part in a history thousands of years in the making, a history as full of triumph as tragedy. Indeed, a history that has triumphed over tragedy. Narakatsi Art Institute is a non-profit organization whose mission is to create a community for Armenian artists and to inspire us all through their creativity and vision. For founder Narek Hartunyan, Narakatsi Art Institute is a labor of love. Created in 2000, Narakatsi opened as Yerevan Center in 2004, with events taking place daily since it opened its doors, and amidst growing publicity, Narakatsi has become a popular and dynamic part of Yerevan's cultural landscape. Part of Narakatsi Art Institute's uniqueness is in creating a space where everyone is welcome. All events are open to the public and are free of charge. The social consciousness of Narakatsi is setting important precedents in Armenia. The Institute encourages physically handicapped artists to be an equal part of its activities, with a special elevator and ramps throughout the facility the first of its kind in Armenia. Realizing the lack of space in Yerevan for music lessons and ensembles, Narakasi provides space for free lessons and traditional instruments, while choirs and music groups who do not have a permanent place for practice use the concert hall for their rehearsals. A major focus of Narakasi is its stage, which has become a platform for showcasing Armenia's extraordinary musical talent. Music and the visual arts are never far apart, and at Narakatsi Art Institute, the walls are never empty. The entire center is designed as an exhibition space, showcasing the works of established and upcoming painters, sculptors, and photographers. Narakatsi Art Institute is a place where new ideas are born and encouraged. After visiting the center in 2005, American composer John Hodian was inspired to organize the first ever Young Composers Awards with Narakatsi. Seeing the desperate need for local musicians to record their music, Hodian has launched an initiative to create a professional recording studio at the center. It is a visionary idea, and one which will further transform and energize Yerevan's struggling musical scene. Raising awareness of our rich cultural heritage and of our history are central aims of Narakatsi Art Institute. Seeing the need for debate and discussion in a free society, Narakatsi's events include seminars, forums, and press conferences addressing cultural and social issues, with panels made up of leading scholars and activists. Since its inception, Narakatsi has commemorated the genocide every April 24th with a variety of events aimed at celebrating the cultural rebirth of the Armenians. For the historic 90th anniversary in 2005, Narakatsi organized a series of landmark concerts in Armenia of Komitas's Patarag, a little-heard masterpiece of Armenian sacred music. The concert had a special significance as they were performed by Sperani, a highly acclaimed choir created for girls who had lost their fathers in the Karabakh War. Through Narakatsi, Sperani introduced audiences to their uniquely moving interpretation of the Patarag, the event was part of Narakatsi's ongoing effort to bring cultural events to people in need of the hope and inspiration art can bring. Narakatsi is in the process of creating a center in Shushi, a major undertaking now reaching completion. Located at the heart of this historic city, the center will consist of a three-story building with an outdoor stage. Like the Yerevan Center, the premises will be fully accessible to the handicapped. Narakatsi Art Institute sees art as playing a major role in fostering the emotional and spiritual well-being of society. By encouraging artistic expression in the young, it hopes to strengthen their self-awareness and cultural understanding. Everyone has a part to play in building the future of Armenia. An investment in Narakatsi Art Institute is an investment not only in the creativity of our people today, but in the inheritance of our children's tomorrow.